Hey guys, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server for the Mac. Um, you'll only need to download two things. You'll need to download LogMe and Hamachi, which um, is really, really useful. It doesn't have any viruses or tricks or any, <coughs> or any scams where you have to like do surveys and stuff. It's really easy. And you have to download the Minecraft server software, which is fine. Um, I'll put the two links in the description. So first what you do is you go to the Minecraft the <coughs> Minecraft official website. You click on the download tab. Um once you're in this once you're in the Minecraft tab it will take you to this page. You click on the Minecraft server.jar and that's the version for the Mac. Um it will download really quickly. Drag it onto your desktop. You also want to copy this code down here because you're gonna need that for later. Now, to keep every to keep everything all neat and tidy, you may as well make a folder. My, I'm just gonna call mine Minecraft Server. Whoops. Server one. All right. You drag it into there. Now the first thing you want to do, because I've downloaded it more than once. Um, if it says seven or a number or something, it should only just say Minecraft server.jar otherwise this will not work so it can't it has to be exactly that okay do once you've created this folder with the minecraft server.jar in it is you want to go into terminal which you can find by going to spotlight and typing in like tr or something and it'll come up with terminal most Macs should have it already on the computer you don't have to download it or anything you type in cd whoop, CD space and drag this whole folder in. You don't want to just drag this on, otherwise it won't recognize the um won't recognize what you're trying to tell the computer to do. So you type in CD and then you drag the folder in and you press enter. And then it will, the folder will be online. It will like it's see how it says it's found the server. So it's found this folder. And then you want to paste in that code that you typed in earlier on and hit enter. Now we'll start loading up all this stuff. This will just take some time. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, now once once it's loaded up all this stuff, it will say it will say done random code for help type help or um, question mark, and that's good. That means it's up. Now what you want to do is go into Hamachi. Actually, no, you don't. You go into the server. You want to go into ops. It will, it will now have all this strange, like, codes and stuff. It'll have world, and then it'll have the original Minecraft server.jar. You want to click on ops.txt. Um, then, when you've got this window open, you want to type in your username that you type in to log into um, your Minecraft. Your Minecraft. So, mine would be little d9885 and you click save and it should save that that just means that the server now that just means that it's now the, you're now in charge of the server so you can put people on whitelists and give them stuff and things like that and you can build in spawn and stuff like that in the spawn area okay so now what you want to do is right click on server properties open with text edit. Now what you want to do is you can name the you can level the level name it will say world it will have hello world false I'm just doing all the stuff that I usually do um pvp true what you um usually you can just leave it at what it is now what you want to do is where it says server IP now this is where it gets a little bit complicating. You go into log me in Hamachi. Um, you want to click on a Mac, you want to click network, create network, you just create new network. Um, and then you type in like a name like I don't know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know something random. Then you want to type in your password um just kind of type in random things. 
Now, once you create this, oh, it's already been taken. Okay. Um, once you create this, um, once you create this thing, it will pop up here, pop up in your thing. If you click a little down arrow, you can see no one's in it. So, um, now what you want to do is where it says server IP, you know, you want to type an IP, it will give you an IP up the top. As you can see, it, will give, it gives me mine. Now you don't want to go into preferences and go into your normal IP address, you just want to get the exact one from here, okay? Just don't listen to what anyone says, just go to the exact one here. And then you type in, so I'm just typing in mine. Eight. Um, and then you just, I'm pretty sure you just save it, yep. And if anyone wants to join, you can just tell them your name. Obviously, I wouldn't tell someone this name because it's just ridiculous. It's just for my tutorial. Um, then you tell them the password and they all they do is click join an existing network and they type in the network name and the network password. And then all they have to do from here is you open actually it should be running yep it's running now so all you have to do is open your minecraft log in what you do is you click multiplayer and then you want to type in your IP and you just press connect and it's loading right now I'm just falling alright so you'll spawn in this area if you make it on a Mac, usually, depending how good your internet is, it will take a little bit, a little bit of time to load up the first time. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. It's not laggy. Usually, depending on your airport or how strong your internet is, and then you should just have a nice world that your friends can join and you can enjoy. So um, yeah. Now I'm I'm not here to play Minecraft, so I'm just gonna stop it. Um, and just when you want to stop your server, you just simply exit terminal and exit. You you when you start up a server, you always have to have login and machi up. So you just have it up. You when you want to start your server, when you want to start up your same server again, it's really simple. You type in cd, drag the folder in, hit enter, then copy the code back in, hit enter. And then it will start loading up. It's really easy. It will be it will load up quicker than the last time because it's um because you've already loaded up the world and everything. And um also when you when you use your server properties, the cool thing about this is you can like put people on like if people are annoying you can ban them or you can there's also all these separate codes that you can you can give out. And um I'll put the link in the description for the codes because when you're in terminal, it will say like what you type in, and you can type in like give player blah blah blah. There's like secret numbers, so um, I'll give you another tutorial on how to do that later. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope this um this tutorial helped you out, and please subscribe and comment, and see you later.